Welcome back to another Eco Belkin video. Today we're going to tear down this Compact Presario CQ60. You may want to do this if you want to repaste your CPU or to clean out the fan vents. So today we're going to show you how. We're going to start on the bottom of the laptop after we shut it down and make sure it's turned off. We're going to remove the perimeter screws. We're going to remove the battery each access panel and the DVD-ROM screw as well. And it would help, or it may help, if you have containers to put these in. As I do here, I live on mine um, for the display, because it has to be removed as well, a container for the motherboard, and a container of screws for the bottom. So the Phillips screw that I'm going to be using is a number zero. We're just going to go around the edge. Now once you have that part done, you're going to have access to your Wi-Fi, your RAM, and your hard drive. Uh, the hard drive and the Wi-Fi card both have to come out, as well as the battery, because there's screws hidden in there as well. So we're gonna move this, take our battery out, and as you can see over here, now these screws in here are a different size than these outer screws that are sitting out here. So we're gonna go ahead and remove these screws now to remove the keyboard because you're going to remove the keyboard for this to um, disassemble this further there's three screws here here and right here we're going to remove those three and that will be all the screws on the bottom that we have to remove i also uh, removed the hard drive in this um, step as well now it may want to also note that when you're looking at these screws these screws came from the battery compartment. They are a different size than the keyboard screws that are also in that battery compartment. And these two screws are going to be for the hard drive. We're also going to want to remove the Wi-Fi card. Now on these cables, they should be marked a two and a one. Make sure that you either take a picture or you know how they uh, are marked so that when you go to reassemble this, you don't put these on the wrong uh, spot. So we're gonna pop that out, pop that out. Now you also, you don't wanna lose these two screws because these two screws is what is holding this Wi-Fi card in. And the minute you unscrew them, this will be sprung up. So as you can see, my card is sprung up and down in the back here in the corner, you may not be able to see it. Let's move the light, maybe you can see it. There, so there's the screw. The little bastard's down right here in that corner. The only thing left to undo down here is the CMOS battery that I think is sitting right here. So we're going to pull carefully those two cables. And that is it for what we have to do down here. Now you don't have to remove your RAM. And it can stay seated in its two slots as it is now. If you want to remove it, you can, but you don't have to for this. So now we move to the top of the laptop or the keyboard deck. You get yourself a small flathead screwdriver, kind of like what I have here. And by now the keyboard should be kind of spongy. And you should find, be able to find a place somewhere all along the keyboard, either be here in the back like this one is, or along the side. I'm not sure if I can really Maybe just use that. Yeah, there we go. So I can use my nail. And you pull the keyboard up. And you flip that away. Be careful. You have this ribbon cable right here. A connecting. So this is what connects to the keyboard. So you just ever so carefully pull it out, like I did. And you remove your keyboard with the keyboard removed. You also have to remove this plastic trim. But before you do, you have to disconnect this little ribbon cable right here. This is the power and Wi Fi cable. You ever so carefully lift that up, pull this away, kind of like so, and then this just lifts up 
and out of the way. With the trim removed, now you have more screws to contend with. So you're gonna have a screw right here. You have a screw here. You have the display screws over here in the corner that connect to, uh, that hold the display into the frame. So that's the left corner. This is the right corner. And right here in this little hole, there's also a screw. You also have your power connectors that you want to remove. And there's a little screw right here. Be right back. Want to make special note that the screw that's over here in this M2 slot, this screw is specially small, so make sure you don't mix it up with the rest of the screws that you take out from this step. Let me set that over here. We also removed our display screws. Those are also a different size, and I have mine in a different container. Now with everything done, you undo your wire, Wi-Fi wires, undo your display cable, you undo the other cable, which I'm not sure really what it's for. And I undid uh, these two cables as well. The screen should lift right on out of its spot. With our screen removed, we can now take away this entire shell. Um, be sure that you unplugged the trackpad uh, ribbon cable as well. You can just pick a corner and break it like I just did. Oh, no, there's a screw right here in this corner. Oops. Now once you remove that, all the screws, you can usually start right here in the corner and this should lift up and away. And then that leaves you with the interior of the actual laptop. So now we remove the motherboard. And the motherboard has screw right here, a screw right there, a screw right here. This daughter board is the front IO, the head port, the headphone and the microphone port and the indicator lights, as well as there's a screw right here. And I believe that's it. And we have these two screws right here for where the uh, DVD-ROM plugs in. With all those screws removed, make sure you unplug the CPU fan. Get this last little screw that's sitting right here that I can't get you to see because the light's not right. And with that, the speaker assembly pulls away, or moves out of the way actually. And with that, ever so carefully, you can pry up your motherboard. And as you see over here in the corner, right here is where the power connects to the board. So you can either disconnect it here at the board or this whole jack is actually modular and it just slides right on out. And then with that, ladies and gentlemen, delicately flip your board over. As you see, there's still a wire attached right there. Be very careful. And then right here, set your RAM, your CPU, and your GPU, as well as the cooling fan. Holy crap, look at that. This CPU is socketed. Hey, I think I have an idea for a future video. Well, that was all, folks. So uh, that shows you how to get into this laptop. Now, once you get this far, you keep your screws all nice and neat or segregated like I did, putting it back together is relatively going to be a breeze. Um, make sure that you have an ESD strap on. You don't want to short this board out. That's going to be wrapping it up for this video. I hope it helped you get inside your laptop. Uh, any questions, please post them in the comments. Thank you for watching this video. Enjoy your day. I lost a screw. I don't know where the hell it went. Son of a bitch, I lost a damn screw. Once you're reassembled, everything's put back together completely. Comes to that moment that, uh-oh. No power. Damn. I have to say, it might help if I actually plug the damn cable in. Damn it.